What's going on, everybody? This is an episode from the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast. Do you like podcasts and you want to see the full podcast? Make sure you check out the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast on all your podcast platforms, such as Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, among many others. But you're listening to the episode right here on YouTube, so make sure you hit that like button in below and make sure you hit the subscribe button to NC Studios and NC Level Up for all your gaming needs. This is the Nerd Coalition. Enjoy the show. Let's talk about uh, this this newest thing that's happening when, uh, as I call it, NXT Africa. Or, as it says, WWE uh, launches the... Uh, so, <laughs> what are you singing? Ayo. Hey, Ayo. Hey, you know you got a show. He's not saying that opening to the line. Drum. He's saying Rafi out there holding the next WWE superstar from Africa. Probably you're, you're there for that. Look. So, WWE... In conjunction with his, <laughs> he really got to be. He really got to chill out. <laughs> this is borderline inappropriate. Look, <laughs> look, look. I'm gonna tell you. I saw the cast of the Lion King on a Tiny Desk concert the other day. Oh yes, that happened. Uh. And it just out. The song just stuck in my head. Now, every time you say Africa, that's the first thing I'm going to. <laughs> you, you, you know what else is funny? They had this whole promotion up with a, uh, with a with a poster about trying to search for WWE's next African star, and it had all, all these black wrestlers that they Random have get on black there. Wrestlers. I was just like, okay. They even <laughs> had Booker T on there. Yeah, I was like, hey, 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 they ain't Houston, Texas, ain't Africa at all. But, <laughs> but anyway, WWE in conjunction with its sub, uh, uh, was it Sahara African Broadcast Partner Supersport has announced. A continent-wide talent search to find Africa's next WWE superstar. The campaign was announced today in Lagos, Nigeria, the host city for the multi-day tryout in February of 2023. So this is continent-wide. Okay. Okay. Uh uh oh. I'm listening. Uh, ladies, guys. By the way, welcome to the show. How do you just join? Just join on here. I just, it's the same thing I always say. If you're going somewhere, we don't say the North American talent search. Okay. Why not just say the Nigerian talent search? You you mean to tell me y'all are going to y'all going to fifty four different countries <laughs> to go? Hey. I want you to travel for days on end to come on down to Nigeria and try out. That's what they did with Japan. <sighs> Japan's a country. I know, but they only went to one part of Japan. They didn't go to Yoko's, Yokohama and they just went to Tokyo and said, all right, y'all come to Tokyo. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, listen, this is Look. my, it's my own, it's my own. He knows this is a personal, God. <laughs> personal pet peeve of mine. I hate when people do this but go ahead random poster the, of the blacks for this African no the, the search for <laughs> africa's next w superstar will begin uh according to, this is november 8 2022 when this was written it begin today and is open to citizens of any african country submissions will be accepted until december 18th and then uh it has the, the, the link here uh Interested candidates will be asked to submit a video hi- highlighting their potential to become a WWE superstar. Successful applicants will be invited to participate in the Lagos trial in February t- 2023. A select number of, tri- of trial p- participants will then be awarded an all expense pay experience to continue their trial journey alongside current and uh, current and uh, prospective WWE superstars ahead of WrestleMania 39 in Los Angeles in April 2023. A full-time contract, a full-time WWE developmental contract may be offered to the top performing participants who will then begin their new career at the World Class WWE Performance Center in Orlando, Florida. Look, so, okay, what were you going to say, Lacey? Nothing, I'm just, um, I, go ahead. I'm just thinking, like, man, they got to make, like, a real-world audition tape. That's but, how they get tough enough. 
Yes, yeah, look, look that's now, now, here's the thing. So you next year there are some big plans that Triple H and Shawn Michaels do have and the company has when it comes to getting talent. Because now, now now they're back on there. We we we're gonna go all over the world, so because Vince is gone. Instead, but say instead of being like, yeah. if you're not a 25 year old woman whose yes. bosoms are perky, don't come. <laughs> so, yeah, because so now they have the NXT. Uh, th- th- there's plans for an NXT Mexico, uh, NXT Europe, which is because uh, I think all the UK guys that got fired from NXT UK, mm-hmm. they'll come back for NXT Europe. I figured then, they said that that was probably gonna happen. Yeah, and then the NXT Japan. And they have been in some talks because we, we got Nakamura going up against um, the Great Muda in January for, for one of Muda's last matches, which I also think that is a backdoor to put Muda into the Hall of Fame. That's why I think Prime. Ooh. Um, so that he yeah. has like a match with WWE. Yeah, and he can go to. The, I did that. Well, I mean, he was in WCW, so. Yeah, but I, I think he wasn't having to have some. You know, how WWE gets. But you know what I'm saying, even though he was in WCW, like they can still use that stuff and say he's a Hall of Fame just for being a famous wrestler. He has to wrestle with us, you know. Like Joshua Thunder Light gonna wrestle one match with them, but he was, yeah, you know, in the he was back in the day, and they kind of used that footage and then, so okay. yeah, um, so but the one thing, the reason why I brought this, up, especially for us, for us being black. I was just like, no, seriously, because <laughs> Africa is not known as a wrestling continent <laughs> at all. Yo, he really got to chill out. So you, you hear about the Lucha Libre in Mexico all the time. That's yeah. a huge wrestling uh, down there, and especially Japan for the strong style. Mm-hmm. And these are different and up in Europe. But it's like, okay, same thing with, with, when they were talking about in baseball. How do we get blacks into these kind of sports? Because we don't usually have the resources for that. No, we don't. It's not something that we typically play. Exactly. And like I said, with now uh, the the number of black wrestlers going up in WWE, I feel so that would now let let's sit let's sit there and try to find, you know, somebody if they're if they're gonna go to different places all over the world, you know, why not try to to, to do something like this? You know, set, set up to try to do like a NXT Africa. I know I'm making fun of it, calling it that, but I'm saying, but that's kind of what it is, though. I'm saying, but you're trying to find talent because right now, you, a- Africa, like, unless you, like most of your African stars, right? Keyword with well, my fingers up here, uh, have came from South Africa, and they have not been black people. They have been like Justin Gabriel from South Africa. Justin Gabriel used to, uh, he was part of the you mean PJ Black. The next, his name sounds familiar. PJ Black. That's that's the that's, same guy. That's Justin Gabriel. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just okay, yeah. Saying. Okay, yeah. So yeah, he, he's from South Africa, and there's a, there's a couple other ones that's from South Africa also, but I they're know you know what I'm saying, but they are you know white guys, but uh, the only one that we have like from I like, guess Omas from Nigeria. Now I'm not saying that's a shining example. But we, but it's like no, so you want to hang your hat on. But exactly, but there are there. It could be some talented people over there. That, and once again, there could be some other people on the roster that, that may have some African ties, African backgrounds. That I don't know necessarily just shit. Cause you just have people that developmental. Besides Kofi and Apollo. No, I mean I don't know. I have I have <laughs> two suggestions that they could get people who they could get. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm not being funny here. I'm being serious. Okay, uh, that's why I say I don't know what to expect at this point. What you thought I was going to say Mufasa himself? I didn't know so, what you was going to say. Uh, me? No. Uh, there was this one African brother. Her name is Queen Amina. Yeah. She is very good. Okay. And then another one, her name was like Saraya Sahara the Seventh or something like that. Hmm. She is good too. But Queen Are Amina, she got like the whole Africa? African... She got the whole gimmick. She lives there. She literally, she lit well. Okay. She's from there, but if she comes here to work and then she kind of goes back there every few months to, you know, give them money and then she comes back here to wrestle and then goes back there. She's from there. She was born and raised there. She came over here to wrestle. So. Yeah, because there's no way no wrestling over there. Yeah, so I'm saying now that there is wrestling over there, I mean, I think she she could be, you know, considered or something. Try She could try out at least. You know. That would be cool. I mean, 
to me, you know I'm gonna, tri- I'm gonna find, the, find the picture so you can yeah. see what I'm talking about. Triple H knows talent. Like he you know uh he raided the Indies. Okay. So he, he will know talent when he sees it. But for them to even just have this opportunity to go to Africa and you know in Nigeria to have these kind of trials and you you to, to, to see what people what is what is, what these people you know can do I think that's awesome. Yeah, I do. Like, as much as um, we are, like, joking, like, that it's NXT Africa and all of that. Yeah. I think it is great um, that they're expanding their reach for talent. Yeah. It, well, look, let's just be real. It's ready for black talent. Yeah, I mean, yeah. No, I mean. Yeah, I mean, they could go to Atlanta for that. <laughs> See, that's not. You see what I'm talking about? I'm just saying they're expanding their talent, their reach for talent, period. Because this time a year, a year and a half ago, they was shaking out the the rug, talking about get out of here, oldies. And they was just, I mean, it's just I think it is good. You right? Yes, yeah. black talent. Um, but if they're this really ain't going are, Africa to go fight nobody. Absolutely not. You, but he, well, well, what, what they got in Texas? Not what they got in Texas. How big are they? Yes. Yeah, um, sure. What's Stevie Ray doing? So wow, absolutely <laughs> fucking not. Um, but yeah, yeah if they're going paper. to like Africa, if they're going to Mexico. If doing, that sounds. I think that is um, dope. Yeah. So you yeah, get these different. Actually, all around, all around the world. I mean, and look, if Africa's like a big success, you, you could actually like bring the market to it's like like to Africa. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 they you, tried it, with India. Yeah. And you see what we got. Cool, that's you know, you know. So, you know. He needs to be stopped. I, I understand, but yeah. So you know, you, you just you just never know. So you, uh, I, I want to see what this holds up. What the future can't, you know, just so long as it does not result in Omos getting the title like Jinder Mahal did, I'm fine. This is not there. <laughs> those are Vince's. <laughs> see, those are Vince moves. Okay, I'm aware. It's yes. just like that was. I couldn't let that one slide. Like, come on, yeah. y'all. I know y'all was trying to break it to the market, but Jinder yeah. being the ch- look. I mean, <sighs> and what he got, Annie? He got done what? With the knees, yeah. 